explain, give us a brief description of prostate cancer? Well, prostate cancer is an abnormal growth of cells in an uncontrolled way that it affects the prostate gland. And the prostate gland is an integral part of the male reproductive system. And uh, because of the location of the prostate gland, um, in close proximity to the urinary tract, a lot of the symptoms that somebody might experience are related to the, to the urinary tract. For example, um, the common symptom is that someone may have, uh, may, may notice that they're experiencing uh, frequency of urination. They have, to go to the, they, they have to go and urinate more frequently than normally, and particularly uh, at night. Uh, or they may find that they have some difficulty starting or stopping urination. Uh, they may find sometimes that it might be painful uh, to, uh, to urinate, um, and uh, they may find also that they have some uh, sexual difficulty, erectile dysfunction, uh, uh, or other problems, and sometimes there's some physical pain associated with it. There might be some abdominal or, uh, or hip pain as well. So in those instances, it's important that a man uh, contact uh, his, his uh, primary care physician and, and probably a urologist, certainly at least initially the primary care physician. In fact, it's probably a good idea for men uh, over the age of 45 or 50 to make sure that they are getting a prostate exam from their primary care physician every year and probably not a bad idea for them actually to see a urologist and have their prostate uh, gland physically examined uh, and also have uh, a, uh, a simple blood test uh, called a PSA test, uh, which can be helpful. There's some controversy about whether, uh, at least there's been some controversy recently about whether the PSA test is really a reliable predictor of whether uh, men have prostate uh, uh, cancer or not, but uh, it's still a, important test for men to get and it's important that it be uh, evaluated by a physician in conjunction with examining the patient and, and in those instances uh, it can be interpreted in a way that they can be helpful in terms of knowing whether somebody does have uh, prostate cancer because sometimes a lot of these same symptoms can be caused by just an abnormal growth of the prostate gland called benign prostatic hypertrophy, uh, where the prostate gland enlarges and causes these problems. The, the thing that we're really concerned about is the enlargement caused by prostate cancer. Uh, and when, uh, uh, when that happens, uh, generally uh, you know, some additional treatment is, uh, uh, is uh, necessary.